Okay, so today we're going to cover the Clough Road Roundabout, the Chamberlain Road Roundabout, and the Leeds Road Stone Ferry Square About Spiral, whatever you want to call that, the Bandstand Roundabout as it used to be called. So basically we're going to head towards the Clough Road Roundabout now from Bankside. And we're basically going to look at the ways that we can go round the Clough Road Roundabout. Down here we're going down Bankside, we're heading towards the uh, Ferry Lane Clough Road Roundabout here. And basically on here we're turning right. Now my suggestion on this roundabout is to turn right and come off in the left lane. I think it's the best way to go is to turn right and come off in the left lane. So I'm going round now, I'm close to the roundabout and then I'm going to put an indicator on and I'm going to come across to the left lane. I'm checking my mirror as I do this and I'm in the left lane now. Now from the left lane I can go either left or right. I can go left in the middle lane as we're going to end up in here because there's three lanes at the end of here. The first lane is the middle lane which we're going to stay in here and we're going to turn right in this middle lane. So we're in the middle lane now and we're basically turning right in the middle lane. When we do this we've got to follow this left hand lane and be really tight in here and hope that the people have stopped where they have. We stay right in this left lane all the way around and then we come off in the left lane. We'll then go to the next roundabout and what I'm going to do at the next roundabout is I'm going to do a right turn but I'm going to do it in the left lane so I haven't had to move lanes I can stay in this lane all the way and I can basically do a right turn in this left lane. So I'm in the left lane now I'm approaching the roundabout I'm putting a right indicator on I'm looking to make sure nobody's coming there's nobody there that I can see, so I'm going to go and I'm going round in the left lane, keeping really tight here and coming off in the left lane. So I haven't had to move lanes, I can do it that way. I could have also come round in the right lane if I wanted, but I'm quite happy to do it in the left lane. So I'm going now and uh, I'm just going to do a turn round so I can get back to the roundabout. But what I'm going to do, right on Stone Ferry. Okay, so I'm now at the Chamberlain Road roundabout and I can do this one in the left lane to turn right as well. So I'm in the left lane as you can see and I'm driving forwards looking for anything coming as I should do. There's a car to the right so I'm having to give away at the moment. And I'm giving away to both lanes. I've got to look at both lanes here because as we say both lanes can come to the right. I'm going to take this gap though, it's not a bad gap. And I'm staying in this left hand lane and coming round to the right, coming off in the left hand lane and then just following the road. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go straight ahead at the Clough Road roundabout here and I'm going to take you down to the bandstand roundabout and I'm going to show you how to do the bandstand roundabout to turn right to Leeds Road. So I'm just going straight on here so I'm in the middle lane, you can go in the right lane if you want as well but I'm already in this lane so I'm just going to stay in this lane and then I'll move across. I'm looking to go and I can go so now I've got a left indicator on to go down here keeping well within my lane. I now want to be right in the next roundabout, so I'm going to indicate and move across to the right lane, so that's my move across. And then basically, I'm going to the next roundabout, and I'm going to turn right. Now it's a bit weird here, because what they've done on this right turn is they've put three lanes on here to turn right. I'm going to use the very left lane of these three lanes. Again, I'm looking to make sure I can go, which I can. It's always quite good at this roundabout. You normally get slid on, no problem. And then I'm keeping well towards the left here, as you'll see, because I've got to make this left lane here. And then I change my signal to a left signal here and keep well within this left lane. If you did the other lane, then you'd have to come here and in the right lane, you'd have to move across very quickly to get to the left lane, which makes it really difficult, as you'll see. I'm now going to do a left turn, I'm going to come back on myself, come back towards the Leeds Road roundabout. So I'm going to do a little bit of a U-turn at the end here as long as I'm safe to do it, which is looking like I'm okay at the moment. Car behind me is not indicating, so I think I can do a little U-turn here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little U-turn, a little taxi manoeuvre as the call, doing plenty of observations, making sure it's safe, 
and I'm going to go right at the uh, out the end of the street here. I'm going to come back down to the Leeds Road roundabout, or the Bandstand roundabout as we'll call it. And I'm going to do a left turn to come back towards Clough Road. Now when I come back towards Clough Road, I'm basically uh, coming in either the left or the right lane here. I'm going to do the right lane and I'm basically going to go round to the left. So you'll see on the road there's a left arrow and there's a straight on arrow with a left arrow coming off it. I'm going to use this side lane because then it puts me into the right lane which is where I want to be for the Clough Road. So all I've done is just slide onto the roundabout into the right lane and then I don't have to move lanes down here because I'm already in the right lane which is great. I'm going to turn right at the roundabout and I'm going to do it in the right lane. Again you can come round from both lanes here. So you can come round from the left lane or the middle lane as it turns out being or the right lane I'm going to do it right lane to right lane so because the left lane can come round as well I've got to stay in this right lane when I hit it the thing that I don't want to do I don't want to go on that solid white line because that solid white line's an overrun area for trucks basically or anything that's big that can't do the roundabout in the lane so I'm going to not go into this white line, I'm going to stay off the white line and I'm staying in my lane and as I said because the left lane can come round as well I'm coming off in the right lane which then tees me up if I am going back to the test centre to go right. So. Uh, sorry to go straight on because the, the right lane here is a straight on lane. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to do a U-turn and I'm going to come back over the bridges so that we can attack the roundabout and do it in a different way. So this time we're going to do it right lane to right lane to show you what that would look like if you ended up being there. So if you go around this roundabout and sometimes when you go around here, there's sometimes traffic backed up. So you might choose to come off in the right lane here, which I'm going to do here. And I'm basically going to go right at the roundabout in the right lane. Now when I do it in the right lane, I've got to stay in the right lane and I've got to come off in the right lane because the middle lane can also come round to the right. So I'm in the right lane, lots of traffic's picked the right lane here. And we're in a bit of a traffic jam, but I'm in the right lane and I'm waiting to turn right. Again, I'm not going to go where the solid white line is because the solid white line is an overrun area. I've got to keep good lane discipline here. So I'm waiting for the opportunity and when I get there, I'll look for the opportunity to go. Just looking now for the opportunity. It's looking quite good. I think we might get round here. Yeah, I'm off behind this car and as you'll see he's crossed over the white line we're not going to do that we're going to stay outside of that white line and we're going to indicate now and we're going to come off in the right lane which is what we should do the last thing i'm going to show you today i'm going to do a u-turn at the next roundabout i could go right in this lane and if i did go right i'd have to come off in the right lane but i'm going to do a u-turn i'm going to come back and i'm going to do uh middle lane uh, it's a right lane on the next round, but you'll see what I mean when I get there. So I'm going to do a put my indicator on. I'm going to do a big U-turn here. Again, I'm not going to touch that solid white line because the solid white line is not for me. It's an overrun area. So I'm staying within my lane. I'm going round. I'm coming off in the right lane because that's what you've got to do. I do need to move across to the left lane, which I'm checking my mirror now and moving across. And what I want to do now is I want to turn left into Clough Road. And you can do this from either the left lane, which if you did it in the left lane, you would do left lane to left lane. I'm going to do it in the middle lane. So middle lane to right lane is what I'm going to do because this is a way you can do it. I don't particularly like this way, but you can do it this way. So I'm showing you this way just in case you want to do it. And I'm basically in the middle lane and I'm going round to the right lane. I'm looking now to see if I can go. I can. So I'm just going to follow it round to the right lane here. And you'll see basically I've ended up in the right lane again. So if I wanted to go back to the test centre I could do that. That's the end of today's tutorial. Let's hope it's helping you. Thanks very much for listening.